watch some guys from Academy um try to release really saw some beef with me. Alright everybody, um this is New York, New York. So this is what also we gotta um, be dealing with. And people be blocking the way so we can't even get out. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to another vlog at Chops. <laughs> Welcome back to a mother freaking vlog at this left Chops. <laughs> Watch some guys from Academy um, try to really saw some beef with me. First of all, I think everybody in why are you all in my business? Um, <laughs> I think everybody in the industry knows that Academy does not get paid well, and they really try to tell me that they make four hundred dollars a day. Like, what do you think I am? Why did I see my ex from Greyhound today, y'all? I don't even know how to feel about that, but I did see him today. I ain't talked to him too much because I was on the phone with my sister, though. But anyway, today we're going to D.C. Philly. Philly, New York, New York, back to D.C. I'm about to head back to D.C. I'm about to do a little um, reel first with a motivational quote, and then I'm going to head back. All right, everybody, that's Baltimore. If anybody's getting off in Baltimore. I guess not. Look, the people in Baltimore look nice. Um, but I'm about to head out. I did not drop anybody off here. I'm not picking, I didn't drop anybody off here and I'm not picking up anybody here. It's also across the street for the MTA Depot. Well, one of the MTA Depots. Um, but yeah, I ain't picking nobody up. I ain't dropped, I didn't pick nobody up. I ain't dropped nobody off and that is a first. All right, everybody, this is D.C., D.C., that's your last stop. This is a 1235 or Where are you going to catch that bus at? No, the man told me to come back here at one o'clock and see I catch the bus here. Yeah, but it's not this one. Yeah, he did you? Uh-uh. Uh. Amber in color. Sorry, Riz. 
good. Ah, oh, you're good. I have all this money. It's dirty, but it's good. All the lights are working. Right down in the house. This is weird, but one thing I do miss about trucking is the truck stops and like sleeping in the truck. Man, or even Graham. I miss having a hotel to go to at night instead of driving all the way home after driving all day. Uh, All right, y'all, do not click off this video without leaving me a comment, liking, and subscribing. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all want to see in the next video. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, especially the ones that made it this far in the freaking video. Y'all are the real MVPs. I also want to thank Trucker Will. Hopefully, he makes it this far. He is always showing love and anything. Goodness. Um, and y'all are just really appreciated. Child, every time I'm vlogging, someone is staring directly in my face. Like, it's one thing to, um, you know, admire somebody, but at least, like, smile. Don't keep just looking at all of my face. I don't like that. Y'all know I'm a little weird, but I don't like that. You know I'm a little weird. Um, you know, y'all know I'm a little weird, but I don't like that. Um, so I'm just here at Washington D.C. Give me a station. Like I said, today was the D.C., the Philly, Philly to New York, New York, um, to Baltimore, Baltimore to D.C. And it was weird because nobody got off in Baltimore and nobody got on in Baltimore. Now it's not a isolated event for nobody to get on in Baltimore, but nobody got off. I really ain't even had to stop there, but I did. some people in this line or whatever but I can tell them right now this is not their bus because we are here early so I guess it's up to his discretion if you want like the more early and not um it's always nice to be nice but sometimes it like it brings you but sometimes it brings you more like drama but sometimes it does bring you more drama or whatever um when you you know let people on like so you try to do somebody in favor, be the they be the loudest ones, they be ones that's coughing the most, and then be like, dang, why did I do that? And it be yeah, this is Washington DC Union Station. This is where all the buses come. Most of the buses come. I mean, I say all oh, the Greyhounds, uh, DC Trails, Mega Bus, Flix Bus, Peter Pan, and there's probably some other buses that I can't think of right now. But um, DC Circulator. But yeah, this is where they all come. You don't really stay here long. You shouldn't stay here long. The only time a bus will stay here is if they break down. Um, so yeah.
Alright, so that's what I was saying about Peter Pan. Um, I seen somebody had commented something like they was from school buses and they asked the Peter Pan driver, um, you know, like what they go through or what like how much money they make or whatever and the Peter Pan driver was saying I think they was only making like two hundred dollars a day. I never told anybody to go to Peter Pan, um, and I would not ever tell anybody to go to Peter Pan. Now, if you tell me you're going to Peter Pan, cool, you know what I mean? Cool. Uh but I wouldn't tell somebody to go to Peter Pan because Peter Pan, not, I'm talking about Academy, matter of fact, not even Peter Pan Academy. Um, Academy, mm, I, I just can't, they don't play well now. I got into it with some drivers on Instagram because they talk about, oh, I make $400 a day at, at, at Academy. Oh, I know somebody not still on this bus, but. <laughs> so, um, they was like, oh, I make $400 a day at Academy. Da -da -da -da. I know that's bullshit. Or if that is true, that you probably got a two hundred dollar tip or a hundred dollar tip, or you've been there like over ten years. And the people that I'm trying to help, they are new at this. I'm not trying to help those seasoned drivers. If you're a seasoned driver, you don't need help. You know. <laughs> but um, Brianna just took off. We everything pretty much went smooth today. I'm enjoying it. Uh, like I said, this I was born to drive. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's just different. It hit different. Like, even a ride on a bus versus a truck, it just hit different. It makes you feel a different way. And some people will like trucking more. Some people like busing more. You know what I mean? Like, people quit busing to go to trucking. People quit trucking to go to busing. So they love it either way. But you just got to figure out what work. You just got to figure out what works for you. Like, just because you see somebody doing something, that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Like, you got to really feel like, like what's your vibe? What you like to do?
because y'all don't have the personalities for it. And no, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I do have a tolerance or whatever. Um, as long as you don't, as long, but as long as they don't get disrespectful, as long as they don't get disrespectful, I'm cool. Like, that's what with anything. That's what anybody. Um, as long as you don't get disrespectful, that's that's what anything. As long as you don't get disrespectful, we good. Um, but I do see how y'all like, oh, I can't do it because it's hard. Like I said, I've had people tell me they want me to, you know, eat, I eat. You know what I mean? Because they miss the stop or stuff like that. Or, you know, people watching you, like, you're just trying to chill and somebody is watching you the whole time. Now, that's irritating. I swear I had this man, um, maybe like last week or two weeks ago, and he literally watched me the whole entire time. I know people on Instagram be like, oh, well. We just want to see how you drive or we want to learn how to drive you gotta go to school for that like <laughs> um, you cannot watch me and then automatically know how to drive now so yeah um that's creepy or at least smile or whatever but don't disturb me and it was like i felt uncomfortable i felt really uncomfortable actually and i was talking to the man in new york about it or whatever and he was like oh well the drive's probably would have put him off like that shit was crazy like i couldn't believe like you know it's you know, like sometimes when you like, oh, already looking at me. No, I knew exactly he was looking at me, and he did it the whole time. Like that, I'm talking about the whole time. Don't forget to join the membership and the virtual course will be out either by tonight but, um, or tomorrow. Like, Hoping you find a high pan bus show. Since the beginning of 2022, or like the middle of 2022, like I really started going hard in my Christianity and stuff like that. But I always, I've always been a Christian where I was always kind of like lukewarm. But like I, I'm talking about like this year I'm going to be led by God by everything. Um, so yeah, like I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. But yes, the virtual tour tells you how to become a CDL driver, how to find a high-paying bus company, how 
much bus drivers actually get paid. Red flags to look out for bus companies. Green flags to look out for bus companies. It's like nine classes. It's a lot more. Um, if you should be a bus driver or a truck driver, because you need to know that. Different kind of bus drivers and the benefits of bus drivers. I hope I'm not mentioning anything. But yeah, um, it was so weird seeing my ex today. Like, I don't even really know how to feel about it. Um, I ain't seen him in a minute. I think the last time I read that Greyhound was like early 2022 or late 2021 or whatever. I had worked there twice, actually. Um, and I wasn't even sure if he still worked there. Like, he tried to follow me on Twitter, but, you know, I don't really get on Twitter like that. And then, um, through a lot honestly and it was like really really toxic um like we will always break up because i'm big on communication and if you're not big on communicating or like you're not checking on me and stuff like that i'm gonna lose interest i'm gonna lose interest no matter how much i like you i'm gonna lose interest so yeah and then we would like break up and then i'll be like i don't think it'll be over so i'll be start dating somebody else and then it just it just became a lot like i started getting this one guy named ernest or whatever he worked for the mta up in new york and um around one time uh he like had sent all this stuff to the dog like flowers chocolate like i'm talking about big stuff too and that's how i like to be treated but you know of course that's called that's causing more drama you know what i mean and when i was driving here um, i was thinking about somebody had mentioned the state of kentucky Y'all be talking about the passengers, but sometimes they will have your back. Like, I had went to Kentucky one time, which I don't like Kentucky. I don't like Louisville. I'm going to say I don't like Louisville. I don't like Louisville at all. And um, I had went to Louisville one time. I had went to Louisville one time, and the man was like, like, he was real aggressive with it, telling me where to park and stuff like that. But it's fine to tell somebody where to park, but he was like, I don't do attitude, and I don't do real aggressiveness. So he was like, I'm real aggressive with it. So that's when this passenger got in his motherfucking ass. And he was like, I was like, what happened? He was like, oh, he said, I was really aggressive with you. I'm like, well, you kind of was. And he had to let you know. <laughs> it was funny, but for real. 